Hey everyone, I'm Matt Knutson, and I'm coming to you from the top of a world-famous Hollywood tour bus here in Los Angeles, California, to tell you about my idea for the next great NBC sitcom, and to hopefully see Gary Sinise. After my brother got out of college, he lived in a house with five other guys. He was a bartender, another guy drove a cab. Everyone in the house had survival jobs, if they were lucky enough to find a job at all. Now, one night we're all hanging out, celebrating life, when one of the roommates, Todd, came home after being gone for over a week. He had a shaved head, track marks on his arms, and hundreds of dollars in cash. Turns out Todd was having such a hard time finding a job that he checked himself into a clinical trial and they were testing a new antidepressant on him. So we're hanging out and Todd is telling us these hilarious and touching and true stories about his fellow patients and the staff and everyone that worked at the lab. And I thought to myself, that would make a great TV show. So that is my idea for a great TV show. It's called Clinical Trials. Think Parks and Recreation meets One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. It's a single camera, half hour workplace comedy about the men and women who work at a clinical testing facility called Cornerstone Labs. Now, everyone has their own unique reason for being there. Kyle's house burned down, and he is not without his demons. I like to drink. Uh, I have a couple drinks here and there, usually alcohol. Greg needs to support his wife and family. Well, I don't think anybody goes through life making plans about how things are going to turn out. Uh, well, successful people probably do. Kelly is something of a trophy wife and is about to be cut off by her husband. And believe me, y'all, I have tried to get like a normal desk job, but they want you to be there at like nine every day. Jim is getting kicked out of his mom's house, has self-diagnosed PTSD, and openly admits, I don't do great with authority figures. Joan Ruth wants more than anything in the world to have a baby. But unfortunately, that is not in the Lord's plan for me, <laughs> which is frustrating. <laughs> and Sookie lost her social security after her husband passed away. I've had two husbands who died on me. One husband was gay. I mean, he's fine. He's just gay. And Dr. Carl, well, Dr. Carl is the Bob Newhart-esque voice of reason. Make yourself at home, but be ready to move in a moment's notice. So just maintain a tense comfort. Trying to make sure that all the studies adhere to a strict protocol and keeping them on time and on budget with the help of his lab assistants, Rajiv and Leo. Some of my favorite shows of all time have been ensemble comedies. Cheers, Seinfeld, The Simpsons. That rare combination of laughs and pathos. Not only that, every character is developed and can carry their own storyline. And not only do we want to see what they do, but we actually care. So that is my idea. Clinical trials after the drawing board and before the medicine chest. I will do what I it will takes. Do what it takes. I will take this to see what it will do.